Hello. Today we are celebrating Corpus Christi. What does that mean? It means the body of Christ. Now you know that a few weeks ago we had Easter and the week before Easter is Holy Week and the Thursday of that week is Holy Thursday and that is the day that we have, we celebrate the Last Supper when Jesus took bread, blessed it, broke it, gave it to his apostles and said, this is my body. He did the same with the, the wine. He took the wine, blessed it, gave it to his apostles, to his friends and said, this is my blood. The very next day was Good Friday. That was the day when Jesus' body was nailed to the cross, when every drop of his blood was shed for us, Good Friday. So that was the body of Christ. Well, I don't think anybody felt like celebrating and the church was so sad that it took quite some time before they decided to celebrate the body of Christ. So this feast, Corpus Christi, the body of Christ, it was postponed as it were and not celebrated until after Trinity Sunday. That was last Sunday. So today we have this feast when we concentrate on the wonder, on the, the marvellous gift that the Lord gave us when he gave us himself. He gave us his body and blood. Now, remember, he had promised that. We read in the Gospel, chapter 6 of St. John. He said, I will give you my flesh to eat and my blood to drink. And they were absolutely horrified and he lost a lot of supporters. They said, well, can't, what's he talking about? We can't have this. And they walked away and they left him and he let them go. He didn't say, come back, come back. I'll explain. It's only a symbol. No, it's not only a symbol. It is the body and blood of Jesus. He promised it and he gave it to us. When do you hear those words, body of Christ? When do you hear them? Maybe it's a long time since you've heard them because the lockdown has closed the churches and you've not been attending mass You've not been going to receive Holy Communion because when you're receiving Holy Communion, the person distributing says the body of Christ. And your response is, Amen. That means I agree. So be it. Yes. We've not been able to, to do that for quite some time. So it is not just a symbol. It is not a symbol. Jesus is real. Jesus was able to give himself to us. He gave himself to us in no uncertain term. The crucifixion is no symbol. It's the real thing. Jesus is the real thing. He doesn't do symbols. He doesn't need to. Jesus is God made man, can do all things, knows all things. He doesn't need to deal in symbols. He gives us himself in the blessed sacrament, in the Holy Eucharist, in his body, 
blood, soul and divinity. That is what we receive when we receive Holy Communion, the body of Christ. Amen. Thank you.